Hi guys, it's me again. I just got something in the mail and I've been so excited for it. it looks like they put a lot of care into uh, packaging this. And I was like, I have to make a video about this. And sorry that it took so long for me to make a video, but thanks for being patient and supporting me. I don't know, I've never really told anyone on this channel, but I'm pretty into like tarot and astrology and that kind of thing. And uh, I have quite a few decks and I've been practicing it for a few years now. And this deck specifically, um, I found the art very beautiful and the, the images just spoke to me a lot. And even though it was a little expensive, I decided to shell out the money and get it. And it just arrived today, so um, I thought I would unbox it and show it to you. So here it is. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, I started to open the box and I saw all this paper shredding. I was like, oh man, this is going to be good. I'm going to film this for a video. I'm going to love it. I've never seen so much care. Uh, put into packaging for our tarot deck um, and uh, yeah I want to unbox it this way um, so yeah let's get started and you know what I've seen a lot of flip throughs online Ooh. Um, but I haven't really seen that many unboxings oh my gosh that's so beautiful <gasps> A little ribbon bow. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but the deck is actually called the True Black Tarot. So the paper shredding was black and this is wrapped in black tissue and black ribbon and I think it's so gorgeous already. Oh my word. There it is. The true black tarot. It's the back. Oh my gosh, it's... It's only in the darkness that we see the stars. True black. Another thing that drew me to this deck is I do like astrology a lot and it did look very astrological as well, especially like on the box in the back. A little flip through book. It's small but uh, more dense than some of the ones I've seen before. edges are in black. This is what the back looks like. Okay, at least those spots fade very quickly. So one thing about me, I have very clammy hands and this deck is very matte, which is totally fine. I'm, I, I'm not self-conscious about it, but especially when I get excited about things like <laughs> this, I become a moist boy. Um, so yeah. There it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to do a little mini flip through, if that's okay. Bear with me. I might zoom in for this. So you probably noticed there's like a clear kind of finish in the back that makes it like reflective and adds this whole nother dimension to the cards. And the same thing is done for the names here. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick little flip through. And uh, I'll kind of tilt them back and forth so you can see where it shines. I feel like, um, have you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the deck called Essential Tarot where it's like very minimal 
and basic, I feel like this is a completely different version of that. While the other one it uses very minimal symbolism, I feel like this one is minimalist, but it has its own kind of twist to it. It has all the right themes there. Because even though some of the cards there isn't like a lot or like a background per se because they're under like a harsh light and they're drawing attention to the parts that need to be focused on, I feel like I can get a lot of information out of these imagery or out of these images. So what about you guys? Have you guys ever done any readings or been read before and what was your experience? Um, I guess this is the first time I've ever really talked about um, doing tarot, but I find it very interesting. I think it takes time out of the day or out of someone's life to sit down and self-reflect, which can be very hard nowadays. There's a lot of distractions and um, the way it does it is through art. Like this beautiful artwork. And I definitely see it as a more of a tool in that kind of way. And I've found it very handy. But again, if you find a deck where the, the art speaks to you the most, of course it's going to be more effective because you found some more or some meaning in those images. All right, so I feel like a lot of people say that you have to kind of like shuffle overhand because it protects the cards. However, I really like to do this kind of shuffle and to prevent curling, I'll kind of like when I'm mixing it, I'll do it this way first before I start the reading. And then when I start the reading, I will do it this way so I don't see anything, but I'm usually very careful. I try not to bend it. I try to let them just kind of fall. And it's just, I feel like it gets me more into a, like a meditative state where I kind of like zone out when I shuffle like that. Um, and in tarot, you just kind of do what, what's right for you. And uh, yeah. Very gorgeous. So that was the unboxing of my brand new True Black Tarot. And uh, I really liked it. It turned out being a little bit of a flip through, but I don't mind that because I love flip through videos of tarot decks on YouTube. It gives you that satisfaction of seeing all the art without having to make the purchase. Because really you should only get decks that really speak to you, unless you're a collector. All the power to you. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around and it's good to be back and uh, hopefully I will be on a lot more. Alright, see you later. Anxiety. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much my life. But it is a very beautiful Nine of Swords. <laughs>